Hello everybody. Today we're going to show you a very important uh, experiment. Solid state Tesla has been secured. Okay, before I begin, this circuit is designed by uh, Nelson Rocha. Nelson Rocha. So uh, there's also another uh, party that is also uh, replicated uh, another variation of the Nelson Rocha circuit. Uh, he's a master IVO. So today, what I've done, I take a uh, Nelson Rocha circuit and uh, uh, created uh, add some values into these uh, circuit diagrams, as you can see. Without using L3, I'm using only L2 and L1. I'm not using a pancake by filler. Okay, so what I've achieved today is I've achieved 1.1 uh, amps at this point over here, sinusoidal wave form, and uh, the DC amps is only 209 at this point. Okay, the reason why I'm using uh, this emitter from the power supply is because power supply do not produce uh, accurate uh, amp reading so this emitter is connected over here this emitter in series with the positive supply and the sign uh, and the square wave this is the setting I'm using 50% at 12.2 kilohertz so let's uh, look at the circuit individually. Uh, this one is uh, actually belong to the Kapanazi coil, but I'm just using this for the segment, not the right coil, but it's still uh, produce interesting results. This is actually uh, 1, 2, 5, 9, 10, 10, 27 hour farad. This is one. UF 5408 100 nanofarad 2 kV and uh, from coil of the Kapanazi which is 250 microhenry okay over here I mentioned this uh, IRF uh, P460 but in reality I'm using a silicon carbide uh, MOSFET you can use any other MOSFET as long as high voltage I'm using 1.2 kV MOSFET so uh, in this circuit diagram uh, because this belongs to Nelson Stroja so circuit design I don't wish to uh, modify too much uh, based on my previous video I'm using a IXDI614 that is the inverted but by right you should use the non inverted version like DC4452 or IXDN604 shown in my previous video so this is the modification I made which is not correct but okay I'm not using the earth I'm not using the C3 which is unknown value so I put a cut over here and this one initially was connected over here, the original circuit, unknown value as well. I've connected over here, 100 nanofarad. Okay, so not connected over here because I'm not using a pancake by filler. So there's no L3 in this circuit. The current length is being taken over here, the reading. So, so to take a uh, lot of the circuit. Uh, I'm using so let's uh, continue the experiment the battery is uh, just uh, providing an isolated power supply to the boosted supply effect 15 volts to the IXDI for my case 614 but you can use the non-inverted version like DC4452 
for IXD and 604 for the MOSFET driver. So let's continue the experiment. So, as you can see, um, the current is about the DC current in series from the supply is about 230 milliamps, and the output waveform taken from this capacitor, which is this one. 0.27 microfarad which is an induction heater capacitor 800 volts AC so as you can see the supply current is only uh, 200 milliamps but I'm going to show you now the 5 times uh, there's a 5 times uh, higher current output in a sinusoidal uh, waveform similar to this because I'm taking from that point over here any one means I mean any point okay we use the clamp meter now okay this is the clamp meter DC should be AC setting strange okay AC setting has been zeroed out let's connect over here As you can see, it's more than one ends. Okay. Slightly more than one ends. You have to vary the frequency until you get the most ideal uh, for the uh, lowest Z DC uh, current consumption for the highest uh, amps reading, which is uh, reflected over here. So, you see, uh, my scope, the ground pin for this one is connected to the earth drive. There's no earth over here. So, what I can do is I could have disconnect and you watch the current. The DC now total only 171 milliamps. still remains so there is 5 times output current sinusoidal waveform as compared to the input so I have not connected the L3 because this uh, winding is not designed for that by right it's supposed to use the pancake uh, coil and you're supposed to tune the coil based on the resonance or half the resonance you will find out through the experiment so this is the cube once more solid state also have been so do try to duplicate and uh, make sure to give credit to this person Nelson Rocha and uh, do subscribe to my video thank you very much Good nice day.